The suggestibility of children and its relationship to potentially false charges of child abuse are examined and uncovered in this report. And they take a victim on every single charge. I heard my wife scream and my family scream. And it was a tough thing. It was the toughest thing I'll ever, ever have to deal with in my life. One year later, Violet and Cheryl were convicted. Gerald Amaral's daughter, Katie, spoke at the sentencing. I know my grandmother and I didn't hurt any of my friends. And so they could... Daddy didn't either. We hired Dr. C.C. and current associate Helene Hembrook to review the Felsacre's case. These were some really egregious um, interviewing techniques. I was very disturbed, very disturbed. They spent several days examining police and social worker reports, court testimony, and the videotaped interviews. Their conclusion? The questions were unacceptably coercive. Did anybody touch your butt? No. Would you tell me you did? No. You haven't told me. Would you tell Bert? The didn't touch me, And the child is repeatedly saying no. I, I can't even count how many times this child said no. And how many times the question was re-asked and redirected and the child's given answers were uh, uh, seemingly not sufficient. Children who said they'd been molested were praised. And remember, these kids were interviewed again and again, sometimes more than a dozen times. The researchers say repeated interviews alone encourage children to make things up. Here to accept is 2020 reporter and correspondent John Stossel. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank the people who really did the work. Tricia Rico, who did great research. Editor Bob Schlenker, who always does fine work as well as tells me how to write the story, and that editorial help is invaluable from an editor. And Rob Wallace, who consistently makes, when producing pictures and sounds, sing. Uh, there's a lot it's been said critical of television lately. One, for example, that we steal from print. This actually was an example of that. Uh, we did steal this from print from the Wall Street Journal's Dorothy Rabinowitz. Uh, she did much of the original research, so I should thank her. Uh, but I should also say that in television we can do things that print can't, and this was a good example of that. It's one thing to say that children can be led unfairly. But it's another thing to see it. When you're told, you still say, well, children wouldn't make all those things up. They wouldn't know all those sexual terms. Just from being asked repeatedly, they wouldn't tell stories like that. And that's how the jury felt. But when you show on tape the psychologist's research, where the child goes to the doctor who gives her an exam with no genital touching, and then the mother asks, did he touch your vagina? She says, truthfully, no. A week later, she ask again, she says yes. Within a few weeks, the children are saying amazing things that were done to them. When you see that, you understand. Though not everyone understands, Gerald Amaralt is still in jail. And I'd also like to thank uh, Meredith White for pushing this story over the objections of others who will remain nameless. Mm -hmm.